Namaste, my brothers and sisters. Happy Friday, the 13th of May. It is a beautiful spring day. Giving thanks for this beautiful sunlight and warmth. I'm thankful for all this rain. My crops are loving it. Today I'm making a video because I would like to talk about thoughts and identity. We often feel that our thoughts are very real and that our thoughts can often define us. And whenever they're very strong and powerful and very loud, I like to say, they can feel so real that you can even feel helpless to them. Sometimes you just get really pissed off, and that's normal. I mean, we're human beings, we're not gods after all. But I would like to invite you to choose to respond rather than react to your thoughts. You see, whenever a stimulus happens, something external or something internal, a thought arises, something happens, you're in traffic, someone cuts you off, someone starts arguing with you or gives you a dirty look. And we feel victimized. Why is this happening to me? What did I do? And I invite you to respond rather than react. Now let's break that down. Say you have a thought. <clears throat> you have a reaction to the thought immediately. Um, this is a rather unconscious action. It's you're, you're doing it, but you're not really aware that you're doing it. Now, for me, Meditation and yoga have helped me create some space between that action and reaction. And this is what I call a response. Also, psychedelics have helped too. Psychedelics opened the door for me. And meditation and yoga carried it on and took it further. Whenever you choose to respond you begin to take control of your life. You really begin to find your own identity. If we're just living our lives unconsciously, making actions, fulfilling desires, then we're not really in control of our life at all. And we are kind of victim to our our ego. But whenever you take some space, whenever something happens to you that would trigger something in you, I invite you to do one thing. Take a deep breath and look at that person or look at that thing or look at yourself in the mirror whenever you have a negative thought and just breathe into that for a moment let the initial energy kind of settle down and you'll be amazed at how much space there is within our mind within our capacity ultimately to love and it doesn't have to look flowery or rainbowy or like love and light. Love can be a very subtle thing. It's just a recognition of what is true. Honestly seeing something for what it is. Whenever somebody argues with you or 
gives you a dirty lick or gives you the middle finger or cuts you off in traffic. Whenever you take a deep breath and you, you look at them and you, you try to step into their shoes for just a moment, nine times out of ten, they're going through some really hard stuff. Otherwise, they wouldn't be acting that way. If they're that mad that they swear at you or whatever it is, everybody's going through their own battles and we're totally unaware of that. And um, I wish that we could all be in control of our actions, but we're not. Even It doesn't matter how much meditation you do or yoga or anything. There's still going to be days where you're not feeling 100%. So if we can have some compassion for one another, it's going to deepen our understanding of life, of how to respond, of how to take control of our actions. Because you see, there's this path of energy. Say an example, um, someone cutting you off in traffic is a pretty good example, I think. They're rushing, they didn't get enough sleep, they had an argument with their loved one, they're late to work. They don't care about you or where you're going, they want to get to where they're going. And say, they cut you off in traffic. You almost hit them, and you say, fuck you, and then you're angry. And then you go to where you need to go, and someone's trying to talk to you, they need your advice, and you may not even be aware, but that previous interaction will affect how you respond to others throughout your day and throughout your life, because the subconscious of our mind picks up on everything picks up everything it's just a sponge and then up every once in a while something will come up and it'll rise to the surface and we may not even be aware of where it's coming from or why it's there but it's there and through meditation you can definitely shed some light on that but it's always there So in closing, I'd like you all to try an exercise. Whenever something is triggering you, whenever you're about to go over the edge and get upset or become attached or have an emotion that's negative, take a deep breath in and out, maybe a couple times, and try to have some compassion in your heart. Once you see beyond someone's initial action, you can see that they're a hurt human being, and they actually need love, they need compassion, they need forgiveness. And then you definitely need understanding. Not saying it's easy. Never said it was. But if you can see, it is very simple. Thank you for listening. I hope you got something out of this today. I don't even know if I'm going to post this. It may just be for my viewing. Um, but I just wanted to share some light while I was feeling it. Love you all. Peace and love. Blessings. Namaste.